who spent two weeks sailing to remote beaches in Maine to clean up tons of trash that have been left by converging ocean currents. On a beach less than a quarter mile long, we collected 3,361 pieces of trash. The trash that we found on this beach included disposable coffee cups, reusable zip ties, personal hygiene devices, broken furniture, and numerous chewing tobacco cans. Needless to say, we weren't happy about it. But wait, where did all of this trash come from? Marine debris is any man-made material that makes its way to the ocean and is left there. So, let's take a water bottle. You buy one, you drink it up, and then you throw it in an already full trash can. The wind sweeps it away, and across the land to a storm drain or a river where it ends up in an estuary and then eventually makes its way to the coast where the tide takes it all the way out to the ocean. It photodegrades into thousands of tiny pieces of plastic. Marine life mistake this for food and they eat it. And then yeah, we eat them. We eat our own plastic. We used our video drone, newly named Hover, to assess marine debris all over the coast of Maine, and then we snapped on our gloves to start cleaning. On five beaches, we found, collected, and properly disposed of 4,849 pieces of marine debris, along with our partner, the Maine Coast Heritage Trust. It was easy, super fun, and we even found $80. We didn't do all of this cleanup alone. Rosalia Project teamed up with high school students from the Hurricane Island Center for Science and Leadership's Marine Ecology Camp to clean up the local area from surface to seafloor. We used our ROV, Hector the Collector, to pick up a glass bottle and two pairs of sunglasses, one of which actually belonged to a camper from a previous week in a short period of time. Afterwards, we did a shoreline cleanup on the nearby island of Vinyl Haven, removing 497 pieces of trash from a local beach. Expedition Clean set out to show that cleaning the ocean is possible. So now it's your turn to pitch in and help out the oceans. First, when you see trash, pick it up. It's that simple and it really does make a difference. Whether it's just you out for a walk or you attend a large group cleanup. Second, encourage your municipality to invest in harbor cleanup boats, beach cleanup crews, effective recycling, and storm drain covers. Third, engage in prevention as an individual. Buy products that use recycled and recyclable materials and make sure they get recycled. Vote for a better world with your dollar. Fourth, please share this video. Help us spread the word about the issue of marine debris and the actions we can all take to make this problem go away. And please support organizations like Rosalia Project who are out there getting our hands dirty, sandy, salty, and muddy, cleaning the ocean from surface to seafloor, and dedicated to inspiring people like you to do the same.